everyone, welcome to another episode of our small business stories. Today I wanted to talk about our vintage craft box and subscription boxes in general and what our process is from start to finish because there's quite a lot of work going on behind the scenes that people don't always see. There's quite a lot of, of different parts and it's actually a really long process from start to finish so I'll show you what the timeline is for our subscription boxes. So the very first step of putting the subscription boxes together and specifically the vintage craft box is to choose a theme. So the very first step is to get the ideas for the themes. So I plan the themes almost one year in advance, at least at the very minimum six months. So what I do is I kind of jot down ideas whenever I come across something uh, during, I don't know, my travels or in museums or visiting things or I also get a lot of ideas from the community, a lot of people um, and customers ask me for themes. So those are all going in my list of ideas in here and then at a certain point I just look at them and decide, okay, we're gonna do this theme, this theme, this, this theme, etc. And I always leave one theme empty during the year and that's for people to vote for so they can really get something that they really want. This year the, the fan choice was vintage shops and bookstores and that's the theme for this coming December. So I'm really excited about it and I hope everyone likes it. Once the theme has been chosen, the next step is to start getting ideas and designing around that theme. I always have a specific set of products that I want to make for each box. So for example, on average, there are seven or eight products in each box and I know I'm going to have at least one washi tape, I'm gonna have at least one stamp, a couple of stickers, a couple of papers, etc. So that makes it a little easier to plan and decide what kind of product we're going to make. Often when I come up with the idea of the theme, I kind of visualize what that theme means to me. For the vintage bookstores and vintage shops, I imagine being in old London and in this Victorian era. So I'm thinking this could be a nice idea to have different bookstore and shops signs on a washi tape. I just kind of divide the theme into different categories and from those subcategories I think about what would look nice on each type of product and that's when we start designing. So for the design process I work with several other designers because there's just so many new products every month for the subscription box but also for other products that we make, advent calendars, so we have now a little team of designers who help with the designing of the products. So I give them the ideas and they create around those ideas for the products in question. This process takes about one month from beginning to end to get all the designs together for all of the seven to eight products for the vintage crop box. Once I have all the designs, I need to finalize the production design, making sure that it fits uh, the production format that we need for uh, the production process. Sometimes we add other little details like foiling, and then I send all of this to my supplier, who will then do an, a second check on the production side. And that's when the production actually starts. And then production takes from two weeks to a month, depending on the product type. So the longest product to make is wooden stamps. After the production process is complete, there is the shipping process. So once they're all produced, they're packaging everything and they're shipping everything to us. And that process takes from two weeks to four weeks depending on where the products come from and what shipping method we use. So obviously for cost reasons we try to use the most economical shipping method which is also the slowest. That only works when we're really well organized and planning really well in advance which is why the, this whole process takes so long because 
then you get another month just to receive the product which is also sometimes delayed and when the packages finally arrive it's a whole other um process and so everything arrives at the front door of course and and so we bring everything down here and as you can see behind me we have a lot of packages so that's what happens when we get everything for the vintage craft boxes but also for other products we open everything and we count every single product that arrives and of course while we do that it's also a good way to check the quality of the products and if there's any issue with the products but by that time we really hope that everything's good because it's towards the end of the process we've already produced everything so it's always a big waste if we receive a product that is not good so we do that and then we start organizing all the products into these shelves behind me so we have a whole process and a color code we put everything in those boxes and we label them so for example this is all the products for the November box that we've already received. After we're done with receiving the product, counting everything and organizing everything, the next step is to take photos. So we put together the product in a box and we try to make it look as nice as possible and we use the big photo booth behind me and at that point we're taking a few photos we're also taking videos for social media to show previews and then we're adding editing all of our photos adding them to the website and just updating the website listing so that people know what the latest box is, what the box is about, when it ships and things like that. This whole area over here is where we make all the subscription boxes. So this area is usually pretty empty. We try to avoid having packages over here. So at this point, we're completely ready for putting the subscription boxes together and getting them shipped out. First step is building the boxes. So we receive them like this, completely flat, and we just have to put them together. Second step is putting the tissue paper inside the box. So that's where we're gonna put all the supplies and we're wrapping them in. And every month we have a different tissue paper depending on the theme. Then we place the supplies inside everything that's flat at the bottom and once that's done we are going to close the wrapping we have a very specific technique doing that folding it and we close it with a little sticker and we add two cards one showing what comes inside the box and another one showing who packed your box so you know who's behind the scenes and we close it up at that point we've spent one month for designing one month for production and one month for shipping so we're already three months out and that doesn't include um, the idea part and finding the theme and that doesn't include little issues we have here and there, delays, etc. So you have to count about three to four months total to get from the beginning to the point where we can start putting the subscription boxes together here in our little workspace. Split the shipments uh, over about two weeks so that we have a more consistent flow and it's also easier for us to get things out but when delays with supplies occur, like it happened here, we received one of the product very last minute, then uh, we still have the deadline of shipping everything by the 20th of the month. So that's why uh, today we have a huge amount of orders going out at the same time so that we can keep up with our uh, deadline. But usually we try to spread things out. And that's kind of the end of our process. This is a never-ending cycle, let's say, of uh, designing, production, shipping, receiving, putting boxes together. And that's only for one of our subscription boxes. So as you can imagine, 
um, we are pretty busy <laughs> and there's always a lot to do because when we're not packing we're doing some we're, we're in some other part of the process whether you know it's the beginning of another subscription or the end of another subscription there's always some packages going out and some packages coming in so I hope this gave you a little insight into what the whole process is for preparing our subscription boxes and maybe next time you receive your subscription box you can think about us and uh, everything that has been happening behind the scene for you to get that little box on your doorstep. Thank you so much for watching. We hope to see you soon for our next vlog which is going to be about our advent calendar. So that's going to be super exciting also seeing some of the process that went behind it how it looks and what the whole the whole thing is about bye